can I cope with? Uh, or part of it? How do I cope with more? Hi, my name is Patricia. I am a youth with mental health coordinator at Pacific. I feel connected to my culture because of the food and the performances and language and just my family bond. I am Tuvalu and Takalawan. I recently graduated with a Bachelor of Science in majoring in Ecology and Biodiversity at the University of Waikato. I'm Adrian and I do think our country is connected on our life. I am Jojo and my mum was born in Guinness and my dad was born in Samoa. I have made this short film to raise awareness of the increasing problem of climate change in the Pacific, which is threatening to wipe out whole island nation. How do you think climate change is affecting your tutor and why why? As coral acidification intensifies and there's coastal erosion and the rising sea level, we begin to lose an image of what our island looks like, the image in my head that I remember from like five years ago. The climate change has a huge effect back at home with the now with there's a lot of flooding and now Tom is prone to have more um, cyclones. Obviously, New Zealand is Pacific because we're part of the Pacific, and so uh, it's a good question to ask what's the link and what's the potential impact on New Zealand of climate change. The climate change is affecting just the because there's like a lot of floods and tsunamis, and like the how there's a volcano eruption as well. Just worried that you know my island might not be there in like in the future. Yeah, climate change physically has been affecting both the countries that I'm from with coastal erosion, salt inundation, things like food, agriculture, water culture, all those things are affected by climate change. How do you think this will impact food, tradition, culture and language? Uh, people will begin to like move out of our Pacific Islands and you know due to this, due to assimilation, we can begin to forget about our roots, where we come from. Um. You know, we're already in a situation, a global situation, where food costs out of the reach of ordinary people, eh? For food, it can impact. You know, we rely on the plantations. This is no foods that we depend on, like that grow only in the tropics. Uh, we begin to lose that because um, it's predicted that the Pacific Islands will get colder. If you ever get grandkids and they ask you about your ancestors and your homeland, how do you think you will apply? teaching them ways to help preserve our home, to help be more of a bit more greener and to plant more trees and mangroves to help home, you know, survive. Yeah. I dedicated my life to making sure there's a foundation. I'm hoping to get something for them here in Aotearoa, um, but then I want the connection back to Tuvalu. Like, I want to make sure that when I go back to Tuvalu, there's something for my kids to go to. Well, hopefully the island is still there. I will take them to Tonga because that's where I'm from. I will take them there to see how different it is compared to here. And just to show them how we grew up compared to how they're growing up. And that's not fair, you know, like, yeah. what, like the smallest, one of the smallest countries in the world. I don't, like... There's so much research that shows that they're not the major contributors and there's so much research that shows, shows that politicians and other things like that, other systems can do something about it. I'll tell them about the food, the people, uh, rugby, I don't know about rugby, uh, their religion, their history. I'll tell them to have pride where they came from, the ocean, the land, and I'll tell them to have pride in who they came from, Kai and the other people. June 5th was World Environment Day. An article in our local Sunlight Media identified climate change as a real threat from rising sea levels, extreme weather patterns, and the constant threat of floods to buildings, crops, foods, and people. The way we fix climate change is actually going to be also really important to have um, the government highly, highly involved. And we won't be able to ward it off, but we could actually sort of try and stall it just a little bit, but we're running out of time. That's a, that's a big issue. Okay.